right now, Rachel, the, the concern is the cold. We're headed into a really chilly night. Yeah, the thing we'd love to see is some warmer temperatures to kind of help melt all of that snow that's still out there. There are a lot of roads that are still snow covered even now, but unfortunately we're going the other direction with temperatures getting even colder tonight, dropping back into the single digits inland and teens for the Connecticut shoreline. So it is going to be a bitterly cold night out there. Cold start to the day tomorrow. Heading into this weekend, sunny but obviously chilly on Saturday, especially in the morning. There is a chance for a sprinkle or a flurry later in the day on Sunday, maybe even some light rain or snow as we head into Sunday night really going to be just kind of a nuisance disturbance. What we're keeping a closer eye on is the possibility for a bigger storm about a week from now. And I know you're thinking, ooh, white Christmas it could go the other way. I'm going to show you more about what we're thinking in just a moment. Temperatures right now are in the 20s to right around 30 degrees, and we've got plenty of sunshine that's out there after more of a cloudy start to the day. And again, just a reminder that some icy roads will continue out there tonight. It's going to be an issue until we get this all melted away. Clear cold out there tonight, tomorrow. Temperatures right around the freezing point with partly cloudy skies. I do think we generally tend to see clouds increase as the day wears on. The wind will be be calm though. And again, I think most of the day on Sunday is dry, but the later in the afternoon we get, the better chance there is for a, maybe a sprinkle or a flurry. Temperatures will be about 10 degrees warmer, give or take a few degrees though, than what we're expecting during the day tomorrow. So here's another way to kind of visualize the weekend, starting off your Saturday again with plenty of sunshine, but we do see more clouds come in as we head through the afternoon. And then on Sunday, I think we're mostly cloudy, but temperatures will not be as cold. Again, climbing into the upper or 30s, maybe even close to 40 for the shoreline. This is one computer model showing again some light rain and snow heading into Sunday night. And again, I don't expect any accumulation out of this. This guidance also has some of that lingering into Monday morning, but I think there's a pretty good chance that it actually clears before we head back to work on Monday if you have to go Christmas week. Now this is a week away, so things can obviously change, but because it looks like such a concern, I think it's worth kind of putting in the back of your mind. So there's a potent front that looks like it'll be approaching us a week from today. Some of our guidance is hinting at heavy rain, warm temperatures, the chance for thunder, and some strong gusty winds on Christmas Day, followed by bitterly cold temperatures and a flash freeze. This would obviously be a nasty situation if it panned out. If we got a lot of heavy rainfall, there's still a lot of snow on the ground that won't have a chance to melt, that can try to block storm drains and prevent that rain from moving out and kind of sinking into those storm drains. And then if temperatures drop below freezing, you can get that ice skating rink situation. So a lot of things to keep an eye on. Could this change? It's a week away. Absolutely. But I feel like I have to mention it to you just so you kind of put that in the back of your mind. If you're running errands over the next several days, make sure that you're just kind of checking in with the forecast to see how things are shaping up. Here's your seven day forecast for you. Maybe a leftover shower in the morning on Monday, maybe a leftover snow shower in the morning, depending on how that works out. The rest of the day though, Monday looks dry. I was talking yesterday about a disturbance on Tuesday. Right now it looks like that may stay just offshore. And then again, it's going to be late Christmas Eve into Christmas that we're watching for that potential for some rain, guys.